Welcome back. Today I want to go over a quick haul for the past about two weeks. So this, um, so this part's the haul and then I have some work in some progress that I wanted to show you real quick. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So the first thing I want to show you is the set of knitting needles, double pointed knitting needles I got the other day. Um, they're from Marbles and I got them from Amazon and I will put the link down below. It was about 45-ish dollars for this set. And you get five needles in sizes four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And it comes in this cute little case. Now I'm not a knitter, but I wanted to have, I wanted people to be able to have these because I got a book a couple years ago that I'm just dying to use. Excuse me. I'm a groomy knit and I want to do the octopus and the spider. I mean, I want to do it like most of them. And then there's the jellyfish. There's fruits, vegetables, a bunch of stuff. I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> so I wanted to use this book, but I didn't. I don't have the. Uh, didn't have the proper. I don't really have the proper tool. So that's why I got the double pointed needles. I also got. Um, Monster Amigurumi and Hardback. Um, I believe it's out in PDF, but it's not out in book just yet. It should be released, I think, November-ish. But I went ahead and pre-ordered that, and then while I was looking at that, I found Edward's Crochet Imaginarium by Carrie Lord. This is so super neat. So let me go ahead and open the book for you. So on the front cover, you'll see the table of contents. It's literally adhered to the front cover. And then on the right, you will have three levels of parts for your monster. So you can choose, you can mix and match. So I'm not going to go through all of them simply because I'm going to be here all day. So let's go ahead and, so that's H1, A1, and E1. So you will see what your AMU will look like on this side, and then on this side, you'll see the pattern. So we'll just kind of flip through a couple here. I haven't really looked at all of these. going to be so much fun. I like that. That one's kind of my favorite head and my favorite arms. Okay. So then after that, then she goes into uh, sizing and yarn weights, color palettes. Um, I want to make sure I don't give away anything. So here's some monsters. That is super cute. I need to do that one. I like that Medusa head. Josh is adorable. That's kind of like a sock monkey right there. <laughs> So I looked through this book kind of briefly, but not too, not too. This is my favorite. And she's definitely adorable. Gertrude's cute. That one's funny. So this book is definitely going to be a lot of fun. Oh, so she sees. So she's showing you right side versus wrong. Um, right side versus wrong side. Sorry. And then some of the stitches in the back. So I'm excited to start this book. One standard form, 23 heads, 23 arms, 23 feet. 
There are six different tails, four different sizes, six stitch patterns, 17 colors, and hundreds of modifications. Over a million easy to make monsters. I'll put a link down to this below. So excited for that one. Uh, yesterday I picked up Interweave Crochet for fall 2017. So this is actually like a cables version. I'm going to flip to the last page to show you all the different patterns in here. So this one, I was looking through it yesterday and um, they actually show you a new technique on uh, how to do cables that apparently look like knit. So it's definitely different. I was looking at it and it is definitely different. So I'm going to have to try it and see how much I like it. Let's see. Again, I don't want to give away anything. That's really pretty. I like the hat. I, I definitely like the gloves, so I'll be making the gloves at some point. And then we go into the patterns. So I got this. Definitely look at that later. Um, I went to Michael's this morning and I picked up some more Barcelona. These were um, reduced from $8 to $5. I got it two in uh, watercress. I just love the rolling mint color. So this will definitely be like a scarf or a shawl or something. I just love this mint color with the blue. So I got two of these. Okay. So onto this big box it says coats. It is not a coat as in a jacket coats. It's coats as in yarn coats. <laughs> Sorry. So on Labor Day, they had a, it was either 15 or 20% off on redheart.com. So I made a purchase. I kind of splurged because I didn't think that they were going to be carrying this yarn in stores anytime soon. So I went ahead and used the um, discount. I think it was 20% off. And then free shipping for orders over a certain price. So I got both. So I can hardly wait. All right. I hope you didn't see anything. If you did, I will blur that out. All right. So I got the Red Heart Ombre. I got two of each color. I really don't want to take them out because I get dog hair everywhere. But I got Sea Coral, which is like a like a peachy pink. I just don't want to get dog fur all over it. I also got, oh, here's a, okay, here's an opening. Well, I guess I can, oh, there's an opening on this one too. So this is sea coral. You can see it's like a peachy pink. This one is jazzy. It's pink ombre. Then I got a uh, deep teal. Let's have a little. Yeah. I'll link these all. I'll link the ombre yarn in the description box below. And then lastly, I got anemone. Anemone. Okay. Just make sure I pronounce that right. And it's really kind of a purple, like a dusty purple mauve color. So I got that. Okay. So that was my haul from Red Heart, and I'm so excited. And I got these specifically for, I showed you a pattern a couple weeks ago for this. And I'm actually currently working on it with another yarn. Um, where is it? I 
where oh where did you go okay so got the ombre yarn for this And since I've already started in a different yarn, let me show you how far I am. Okay. So I've already made the hat portion, the hat, kind of the sack, and then two of the tentacles, two of the exterior tentacles. So this has been super fun. It's going to take me a while to finish this since I have to do eight tentacles for outside and eight tentacles for the inside and the inside have um, I think they have like um, texture on it to simulate the um, suck suck what are they called the um, suction cup things anyway so that one's gonna take a little more effort and then my last work in progress I want to show you should be in here is you recall from my video again a couple weeks ago of the uh, temperature afghan so i'm already on where am i i am on the last day of february so i've already finished february 27th so i just need to start february 28th and then i'll be in march so this is about two months of work let's see let's put this the right way So, so far, that is pretty much two months on my temperature afghan. Can you? Okay. I want to make sure you can see the colors. I can't really, the colors are not coming off real well. Okay, anyway, this is a blue. This is actually a purple. I don't know why it's not coming up as a. Coming up as dark blue, but that's actually purple. Oh, let's see if I change. That's not gonna help. Anyway, so this is blue and purple, and this is white with a uh, shimmer. You can see that's uh, green. It's called glowworm. And then I just have one single stripe of yellow over there. So that's as far as I've gotten. So on my Afghan blanket, I am really happy with this. Um, this particular layout, this particular um, scheme, I'm very happy. Um, you can see I still have a whole bunch of tails to weave in eventually. I don't know why that's coming off blue. It's starting to bother me. Cody's unraveling this. Cody, 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 get up. Cody. Okay. So there you go. That is, those are my works in progress and uh, my haul for today. I have some other projects I need to, I actually really need to start because um, they're due out for a swap uh, next month and I haven't started and I really need to start. And then after that, I need to start on Christmas presents because I have a few ideas. I am not going to share them here right now until after Christmas because the recipients watch my videos and I'm not going to spoil the surprise. And Cody's already making himself comfortable on my blankie. Aren't you, boy? Okay. So that's it for today. That's all we got, right, Cody? So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, Cody.